Hello, this is part of my quick demo series on Fluke multimeters. What I'd like to do is a quick demo of the Fluke 113 True RMS, especially the VCheck mode. What VCheck does is when I first turn on the multimeter, it then becomes automatic, a lot like the obsolete 7 300 and 7 600 multimeters, where if I'm in continuity, it automatically checks for shorts and opens. If I go to DC volts, what it will do is automatically go into DC volts for me. Um, it will also check polarity, give me a negative sign. And then if I go into AC volts, it will range into AC volts and show me what those values are as well. It has a nice backlight feature, which makes things easier to see if in your, you're in dark areas. But you're not losing any power of a multimeter because you also have a 6,000 count high resolution multimeter, which gives you from 000 to 5999. So what this means is depending on your range, if I hit the range key, first I'm in the manual mode, which is the 600. I hit it now and it's giving me a beep because it's in diode check mode. If I hit it again, it's, we're now in the six volt range, which is 6000 places the decimal point here and we have 0 0.001 volt or one millivolt worth of resolution. Notice it says OL. Never interpret OL as open line. What OL means is that there's an overload. You're in too low to range. There's a voltage present on the leads. So just be careful and range up to find it if you're in manual ranging. If I hit the range key again, I go into the 60 volt range, which moves my decimal point, point to there. And now I have 0 0.01 volts worth of resolution at 60 volts. If I press the button again, I'm now in the 600 volt range. And that gives me the decimal point here with 0 0.1 volt worth of resolution. So you still have quite a bit of resolution in this multimeter. It also has the min-max mode, which is nice if you're out and you want to see if there's been any changes in values. What the min-max mode does is automatically capture those values, and then I can go back and hit the min. What was my minimum? I had zero. My average is counting down because it's disconnected. And then my maximum was 120. So this is if you think you're having some dropouts, you can plug in the multimeter and use it like a data logger. It also has the ohms mode. What's nice about Fluke multimeters is they're all protected to the full extent of the multimeter. So I can put 600 volts in while I'm in the ohms mode and I'm not going to damage or do anything that's going to harm me. This is a feature that is not present in a lot of multimeters. So I hope this helps you get started with your Fluke 113, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye now.